In this video, I'll show you how I shortened this set of Christmas lights and I removed all of these lights. Now, this is not recommended to do this project just because of this is an electrical project. Please don't electrocute yourself while trying to do this. It's best to just buy the set of Christmas lights in the length that you need. Another suggestion is to purchase LED strip lights. There it is. So if you want to cut it down to be shorter, there is a cut line. So they're every few feet. Now let's get started. Hello. In this video, I'm going to short these Christmas lights, remove this top plug from this strand of lights. What I'll use in this project are some wire nuts and my wire cutter wire stripper. First of all, let's plug in the lights to make sure that they work. Excellent. They work. Now I'm going to unplug them. So always have your lights unplugged while you're doing this project. I'm going to cut off the top plug. And now you see there are two wires. All I'm going to do is I'm going to put some wire nuts on my two wires. And then let's plug it in, see if it still works. Yes, it still works. So here's what we've already done. We've clipped off the top. And so what you'll realize after you clip off the top is there is just a single wire here and it's not connected to any of the lights. It is uh, for this plug that used to be on here. Now you'll notice that each of the lights has two wires, one going in, one coming out. I'm going to remove three lights. I'm going to cut this off and now I'm going to strip the two wires that are left and connect them with my wire nut and let's see if that works now. Yep, and they still work. Now I've removed three lights from my Christmas light. I've just only removed three lights, so it's, they're not that significantly brighter, but as you remove more and more lights, they will get brighter. These are rated for specifically the number of lights that are on this strand. And once you remove them, then it's putting more power into each light. So it's not recommended that you remove, you know, half the lights on the light strip. That's not going to work at all. Now let's see what happens if I cut off more lights. I need to keep these wires separate because this wire is on its kind of on its own. Separating this wire just so I can tell them apart. I've got this wire that fed into the top plug. I want to make this purple bulb the last bulb. I'm going to cut off all of these bulbs now and I'm going to do so. Okay. And now I need to connect these two together, but I'm not going to just connect these two together. I'm going to use my resistors to compensate for all of these bulbs that I just removed. So let's strip the wires and get, get out my little clips here. Connect this to one of my resistors, other wire, another resistor, and connect this to the resistor. Now, Everything's unplugged. Now I'm ready to plug it in. Okay. Nothing. Okay, let's try the other resistor. And now you see the other resistor. Now if we do this without the resistor in the middle, now they're gonna be a, the lights are gonna be a lot brighter. So hopefully I don't burn everything out by doing this, but yeah, now the lights are a lot brighter without the resistor. So with the resistor, they're gonna be just a little bit dimmer. I have my lights working with this resistor here. Now, if you want to make this permanent with a soldering iron and some heat shrink, I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So number one, unplug. Do not do anything live. Okay, so everything's unplugged now. We're just going to attach these wires. We're going to use this resistor and we're just going to add the resistor exactly the way that we had it. You want to put the heat shrink first. I'm going to cut it, this in half. I don't think I need so much heat shrink. And then you want to thread the heat shrink over. Before you solder, do the heat shrink first on both sides. I have a little tool that helps me uh, hold the wires in place. Solder that together. 
Now I can take my heat wrap and I'm going to heat shrink this together. Let's see if this works. And yes, here are the lights. They are now working and the resistor uh, is right here and I've heat shrinked everything. So this is not a forever solution, but it is a solution. Thanks for watching. Don't try this at home and I'll see you next time. Bye now.